In today's video, we're checking out the Hot Tone Soul Press 2 Volume Expression and Wire Pedal. I'm gonna put this through its paces and show you exactly what it can do. A massive thank you to Hot Tone for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this at the end, but what you're about to hear in this intro track is a mix of wire and volume coming out of my Marshall DSL40CR. Let's get into it. Here's the Hot Tone Soul Press 2. Now, in terms of build quality, this feels great in the hand. It also feels really robust. I would have no hesitations recommending this just based on its build quality and how the hinge feels here, as well as how the button feels under the toe. It's very reminiscent of my Jim Dunlop GCB95F, just in terms of how the rocker feels and also the, the tension on the button. Everything feels like it should. Now, over here, we have three different modes on the far, side here on the v mode that's the volume mode we have wah mode we also get volume and wah mode which allows us to have it as an always on pedal we also get a warm and a classic tone when it comes to the wah pedal setting so warm really rolls out the high end and classic is a lot more like your traditional jim dunlop something like that anyway but one of the advantages of this pedal is we get a Q control. This allows you to set the EQ point that sweeps across the frequency. You can change this to get a brighter wire tone, a more mellow wire tone, but again, with it in about 12 o'clock or about two o'clock is my favorite setting and I'll show you that in this video. When it comes to the outputs, we get an expression pedal output, which will work going into say something like the Hot Tone Ampero or anything that will accept an expression pedal. We get a regular output, which will go to my amplifier in this particular video. We also get a tuner out. We get two inputs on this pedal. We get our input over here, which is for our guitar and a nine volt DC input over here. This LED indicator lets us know if we're in volume or wah pedal mode, it will switch between green and blue. We also get this really great status LED here. And as we use the volume pedal, it indicates how much of our volume is being outputted to our amp thanks to these little LED bars. And I'll show you that in this video. You'll see it pretty much the whole time. Now, if you don't have a power supply unit, this also accepts a nine volt DC battery. Just unscrew these two screws here, pop this off, put the battery in, screw it back together, and you're good to go. One of the biggest differences between this and the prior version is that we get an increased footprint size. So it's not a micro pedal, but it's definitely not a full size wah. It seems to be a good compromise between them both. A massive thank you to Hot Tone for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to find out more about this, links to Hot Tone will be in the description below. Let's get into it. 
All right, let's get into it. Today I'm playing my Tokai Love Rock electric guitar. This is made in Japan, and I'm going into my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier. Now we're gonna start on the crunch channel while I showcase the volume pedal aspect of this. Here we go. This is bridge pickup with the pedal currently off. <laughs> All right, so to turn the pedal on, all you do is you press down with your toe and it will light up. So this is in volume mode and with all the lights up, this is the same volume as before. And then with your heel all the way down, it's going to mute the signal. So. No sound coming out whatsoever and my guitar's still all the way up. So you get all of that play from 0% all the way to 100 and anywhere in between just by using your foot. So this opens up some opportunities. What I'll do now though is just show you how it kind of sweeps the volume by just playing a chord and then using the pedal. So this is all the way on. Now this also sounds pretty cool for lead guitar parts as well and you can use it to get that sweep sound and depending on how hard you pick will drastically change the overall sound and vibe of your lead solo. So let's take a listen. So it allows you to do stuff like that that might be a lot harder for some people using the volume control. And now I've got the Hot Tone Soul Press 2 in dedicated wire mode. So there's a few different parameters that you can set. I've currently got the Q set to 12 o'clock and I'm also using the classic mode and we'll switch it up in just a sec. So same exact tone as before and then we'll try it with the Strat. Here we go. <laughs> Feels great to play. I'm a big fan of a wah pedal and yeah, that just feels great. And now we're over to the second of the two wah pedal voicings. This one's called Warm. Here we go. <laughs> I'll just switch it back to classic so you can hear the difference. All right. And now we're over to my Fender Stratocaster going into the clean channel of the Marshall DSL 40CR. So one of the cool things about this pedal is on the side over here, there's a potentiometer or a pot that you can turn and this adjusts the Q frequency of the pedal. So the spike of the EQ moves depending on where you have this actual tool. So it's been at 12 o'clock. I'll just show you the clean tone to start with here. Here we go. Pedal on. All the way to the left. About 10 o'clock. Two o'clock. And all the way up. All 
All right, so that was on the classic mode on the pedal. You can also do the same thing on the side here in warm mode. So let's take a quick look. Back to 12 o'clock. That's a super mellow wah sound. And all the way to the left. I think without question my favorite mode would have to be classic. It sounds really good to my ear. Sit the cue between 12 and 2 o'clock and you get this kind of sound. The third way you can run this pedal is in always on mode, so it'll either be in wah or volume pedal mode, all you have to do to switch is just toe down. I've currently got it in volume mode and I'm back on the crunch channel on the Marshall, here we go. Wah pedal mode. So as you can see, switching between them is nice and simple. Thanks for watching folks, a massive thanks again to Hot Tone for sending this out for the review, I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to give you my thoughts about this pedal after using it. So in terms of its wah pedal tones, I really liked it in classic mode a whole lot more than in warm mode. Now you might like that really sort of rolled out warm wah tone and if that's what you like you can get it out of it as well. But for me, being mostly a Jim Dunlop GCB95F wah player, I really dug the classic mode, it was very reminiscent of that sort of sound. Now in terms of the status LED indicator and the light on the other side letting you know if you're in volume or wire pedal mode, these are little touches that a lot of wire pedals don't have and it's really cool. Build quality really surprised me, this is built far better than I was expecting and it feels really good in the hand as well so I'd have no hesitations recommending this as a wire pedal. Now, when it came to using the Soul Press 2 as a volume pedal, what I found was if I have it toe down to about three quarters of the way to heel down, it responded great. It was just that last quarter between off and on that's really kind of tricky. I'm not used to using these pedals at all in volume mode, so if you've had more experience than me, you might be used to that, but I loved getting those sort of volume swells and sweeps. I think it sounded pretty cool. But yeah, just that last quarter can be a little tricky, but everywhere else felt very, very intuitive, coming from someone who doesn't ever use a volume pedal on their board. Now, if you want an expression pedal that will complement something like a Hot Tone Ampero, if you need a secondary one, or if you've got another digital multi-effects pedal like that, you can plug this in and it will work as well. So there's nothing really to critique about this other than I didn't really like the warm tone too much, but the classic tone rock, but it's all subjective. Some people might like that super mellow wah pedal tone. So thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.